engineers like to define shape change or strain in a way such that when there's no shape or length change, the quantity is zero. Whereas if there's no stretch, U would be I and therefore C would be I. So to define the strain tensor, we subtract I from C. So this gives us E equals one half of C minus I, which is known as the Lagrangian Green's strain tensor, or in component notation, its components are del xi del xr del xi del xs minus delta rs. You can see why we've subtracted i from c to get a quantity, a tensor that's zero, when there's no strain or no shape change. The factor of one half comes from the fact that this expression is squared. What we'll see later is that the Lagrangian green strain tensor is really a measure of length squared change rather than length change. And that comes about from Pythagoras, namely length changes in multiple dimensions and two or three dimensions involve the square root of sums of squares. So in order to eliminate the rotation, we took F transpose F. That had the effect of squaring U and therefore the strain defined this way has a quadratic definition. And the one half there is so that when we do a Taylor series expansion and linearize, that will cancel. So similarly, we could also eliminate R from F by taking the product F F transpose instead of F transpose F. This now, instead of leaving U, leaves V, i.e. F F transpose equals V R times V R all transposed, and that's V R times R transpose V transpose, and again we have R R transpose in the middle, which is I, the identity tensor, which leaves us V V transpose, or since V is symmetric, leaves us V squared, and this quantity is called B the Eulerian left Cauchy Green deformation tensor. So in the same way that we use C to define a Lagrangian strain tensor, we can use B to define an Eulerian strain tensor, which is known as the Almanzi strain tensor, which is sometimes denoted by eta. And eta is one half of I minus B inverse. So if we look at the components of B, there would be Bij equals Fir, Frj, so that would be Ff transpose. So notice this time, it's the components that refer to the underformed reference coordinates that are summing, leaving us del xi, del xr, del xj, del xr. And notice that this expression is also symmetric in I and J, so Bij equals Bji, and this time the indices refer to the current or the formed coordinates. Writing out the strain tensor then in index notation, we get that eta Ij is one half delta Ij minus del xr del, del xi del xr del xj, which is also symmetric. So we'll, in class, expand on these definitions, uh, manipulate them, and give some physical examples.